format. Whether it was just a member of mod, treasure, someone who did coffee. And that's how I started. When I started at CCOP, I started with Pastor Gary, our founding father. Um, Pastor Gary was a wonderful man. He taught you how to love. Not only God, but how to love each other. And that was something I had a fault when I first started. I had hate in my heart. It was for someone that I cared for, but yet it just seemed like this person kept messing up. And <clears throat> I had to get beyond that. I had to not feel that hatred. I had to feel love. And through all the pastors and all these people come up here and they not only do pastoring, but they do prayers. They do scripture reading. Those words help me change from a hate to a love situation. I'm not sure that I have as much love for this person yet, who I see quite often, but I know that it will change because I no longer see hate in that person. Also, I come to you as tithes, because, see, part of that on tithe is you have talents, treasure, and the talents that I see and receive from this church is so great. It's not so much about the treasure and the money coming in, which was my position. Everybody say, right, Mr. Treasure? It's about the talent. <clears throat> we have so much talent in this little church. And I am so thankful for the amount this little church can do. I will take it over any big church in the city any day of the week. You know, we have a food pantry. We have Zumba. We have the Samaritans. They're doing a great job. I come in here on Monday because Monday is my day off as well. Of course, I get to pick my day off because I'm my own business. <laughs> but I see so much talent in this church on Monday and Wednesday. I just flow in and out throughout the week. You know, I was talking about the bulletin this morning to read your bulletin. That bulletin is not put together in five minutes. That bulletin takes practice, and we try to get everything into that little bulletin. And it's information, but it's also a guideline. Who you can go to, who you can talk to. I started CCOP, I was making coffee. That was my contribution. Of course, I was coming, sitting and listening, pledging, but I was making coffee. Lorena, it doesn't mean you'll be here tomorrow, okay? I just want to make you feel a little better here. <laughs> and Denise. But we have so many, you know, to get things started in the morning. Pastor and I come in, I'll unlock the gate and the doors, and he'll set up the cushions, and Denise and Donna stroll in, and they start the coffee, and anything they can start back there, and then they set up the altar. And then here comes Eric and Mike getting started for the music. Mike Feldman doesn't just do music around here. Folks, this chart is done by Mike Feldman. He does a great job. And I'm always asking, Mike, is there anything I can help you with? And sometimes he and I will go to Lowe's and we'll do things together. Just being around Michael, it's fun to hang out. Then we have Eric, who comes and, listens and does the AV, and he does it with joy. He serves as moderator. Being the secretary on the moderate on, on the mod team does not, it's not an easy task. You try to remember everything that was said even though with recording. And folks, it's just like everything else. You get a group of people together and when you start having suggestions coming out of your head, they're just like bang, 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 one right after the other and you're trying to listen to this quarter. Well, who said that? Who was that? You know, and you're going back and forth. So I appreciate it. I appreciate all the talent we have in this church. But most recently, the most talent that I like, that I'm enjoying so much, is Zumba. Marisol, thank you. I am having the time of my life, and my family is watching me sweat it for all those who like to put pictures out there, right? <laughs> I have a huge family. I've been in Jacksonville all my life. Um, and so, you know, as you see my friendship out there, there's a long list, but most of them are relatives. Most of the cousins and all call me Uncle Al. They either work for me or have worked for me or are still working for me. Um, but that also brings in my treasures from there as well. So many of the people who come to church bring their business to me. The business replies and helps with the church. So it's not just treasures that we look for, we look for talents. And I know I've missed some. 
But the one thing that I, I just heard this morning, it was Ray Taylor, when he was doing prayer to the people. And he just kind of led into some of the prayers. Ray helps me so much when he gets up here. Even though, quiet time, Ray, I know it's hard to believe, Ray Taylor, quiet time, how they work it, it does. <laughs> so, <clears throat> but I appreciate it. Um, and that's just my little insight of my testimony in this church. It's what you bring into it, folks. <clears throat> if you've got love in your heart, anything is possible. It may not be tomorrow, but it will come. I do see it. I was trying to replace the floor out there in the shed. We had the beams done. At that point, now that the beams are done, wow, we've got some motion going on. <coughs> so I called the electrician and I said, which the electrician's labor was already donated. I had asked a friend of mine and he said, oh, I'll pay for the labor. So he came and he gave us an estimate to do the electrical. And that should be done pretty soon. And I made one phone call and I was just chit-chatting with this person. And said, I, you know, I have the electrician, now i got to pay for the materials. And she asked, she goes, well, how much is it? And I told her, and she goes, oh, I'll pay for it. That is God working, y'all. That is a phone conversation, and it wasn't between God and I. It was between her, I, and God. She's the one who volunteered to pay for it. So now I don't have to worry about that. So then I was on the phone, and I was thinking, okay, the next move after that, we're ready to lay the floor in the shed. I knew I needed 17 pieces of 3 by 4 OSB, tongue and groove. Now, of course, I didn't learn this. I learned this from the guy who was doing the floor. And he said, you want to turn and groove to kind of help seal things? I'm not a construction. I'm not a carpenter. Give me a hammer. Maybe I'll know how to hit someone myself. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, anyway, I made one phone call to a friend of mine. And we were just chit. Well, actually, he was calling me. And so I called him back. And I was talking about the floor. And I need 17 sheets. And they're like $26 a piece. Wood is not cheap. You know, we got all these trees. If you can get it, it's not cheap. Because we're cutting too many up down. But anyway, he goes, well, how much is it? And I said, well, then, you know, I need 17 sheets. He said, I'll write you a check. There's another one. God has answered. He works in mysterious ways just by a phone call. So I think it's important that you take the love you receive from God and you put it out there. You never know what you're going to get. As Roy always brings to everybody, a little bit of honey will go a long way, won't it, Roy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank y'all. I appreciate it.